about uh, the process. Now, let's start with the FUFA Big League side, that is Lugazi, who have already parted ways with their head coach, who has brought them up to, that is number two, by the way. Uh, they are just uh, in the uh, promotion slot of uh, the, uh, the bet power uh, FUFA Big League. Now, they have tried their level best. Uh, to see that uh, they needed to qualify. First round, they were okay. Second round, they have tried also to see that they now get to number two opposition, number two on the log of uh, the Bet Power Big League. Uh, how will that affect uh, team, of course, uh, Lugazi? Because we did see Mbali, who also parted ways a week late after, uh, later, uh, a, a week after, uh, that is, uh, they did the, the team. And if you looked previously, you would see that uh, the, 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 the form of Mbali or the, the, the tactics of Bali has not been working. After parting ways with us, they had a draw in their first game, which shows a very bad one at home. And um, they are now going for the next game, which will be away, and we're yet to see what exactly the assistant coach will do. But Lugazi did announce theirs yesterday after parting ways and they, uh, with Makumbi. And Makumbi, uh, uh, position is being taken by the assistant coach that is uh, right away. So how do you see Lugazi's future of finishing in that is the top three? Um, uh, basically, uh, there is uh, Richard Makumbi has tried out his best. Um, uh, you literally uh, start wondering what is happening with coaches in uh, there is, uh, the Ugandan uh, Football League. Uh, you find someone is struggling, uh, they are being, uh, uh, they are being uh, chased. Uh, someone is doing well, you're still being shown the exit doors recently. Um, uh, there's been a lot ongoing. I think this month is just not very good for coaches. We saw, um, uh, we saw URA parting ways with David Obua. Um, uh, we saw Mbale Heroes parting ways with their coach. And here um, uh, Lugazi is also, has also parted ways uh, mutually with uh, there is uh, the head coach. And uh, the, uh, the, the assistant, there is a uh, Jared Ifit, has uh, of course uh, taken uh, charge in uh, the absence of uh, there is uh, the head coach, Richard Makumbi. And literally, Lugazi is doing so, so well. Uh, just like you've given us uh, the, the, the head on histories, you'd literally see that uh, they're doing so, so well. They're in the slot of even getting an automatic promotion into there is a start times being a Premier League and all that. So basically, Whatever it is that has happened between Lugazi and Richard Makumbi, their head coach, um, uh, that needs to really be investigated. It could be something deep because one thing I know is that uh, uh, clubs get to, or club owners or stake, uh, stakeholders come through uh, to, 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 to have issues and uh, show exit doors to coaches, uh, uh, basically because of poor performances and when results are not coming. But now here you are, you're doing well. It's, it's, it basically has been my understanding for the two coaches, that is of Bale Hures and uh, of Lugazi, where you find the team is doing well, results are coming, they have a better position in uh, the table standings of the various leagues they're playing for, but then whatever it is that the problem is basically it needs to really really be something deep. And then you ask yourself what uh, chemistry is there what of course is the politics in the football club exactly. right there but all in all uh, it is one of the biggest things uh, to talk about now this is a head coach who has been with a calf B probably uh, to, to see that he takes teams uh, through uh, then uh, he is shown uh, all the mutual agree and sets off a former player takes on, and uh, this is a former player of Lugazi. He's going to be the in charge of the team. Uh, we, we want to see how exactly they will perform, but uh, I think it's not a good thing because uh, if you look at the performance of uh, head coach, the command and the tactics that always, uh, they say that eye of an elder, uh, what an elder sees, uh, 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 a child cannot, uh, uh, see, a child while cannot see while standing, whether... <laughs> So that's one thing for me I was seeing because the experience of uh, that is uh, the coach himself, uh, Makumbi, has been so good. He has promoted by the several teams into that is the Super League or the, uh, the Uganda Premier League or the Elite League of uh, Uganda. If you look at Makumbi, uh, some of the teams that he started, oh, he started his coaching career a long time ago in 1992 to 1995. He was uh, one of the uh, coaches who was so phenomenal and he promoted a, a team called uh, a Skoll FC uh, to that is the uh, to the Super League. Then uh, he also promoted Iganga Town College, uh, or oh, I mean Town Council, 
uh, to the Super League in uh, around uh, 1995 1996. That means two consecutive uh, seasons he has been promoting. And then 1996 to 1997, there was a team called Mukono Lions. He also promoted them to the, uh, the, the, the Super League. Uh, what about Buyikwe Red Stars? He also did the same, uh, promoted them to that is the Super League in 2004. And then in 2006, there was a team called Fire Masters. If you can remember uh, that, uh, of course, for those who have been following football for quite a long time, he also promoted them to the Super League. Then the Bunamwaya, currently known as Viper Sports Club, is the same man who promoted this team. In uh, That is uh, uh, the Super League in 2006. Uh, Bidiko, currently called Bull, he's also the same man behind the promotion of uh, this very team to the Super League. What about uh, Utoda? There was a team called Utoda in Mitiana. Uh, he also promoted this team to, that is the Super League. Then Suwana, uh, then I did see them also change to Toro United. He is also the same man who promoted this team to the Super League. He went to Mbarara and uh, got Mbarara City. He also promoted Mbarara City to the Super League in 2016, that time when Ondupara also qualified to the Star Times, uh, currently called the Star Times Uganda Premier League, the Super League. And then Western Steamer of Kenya, uh, in Kenya, yes, he also promoted that team. Yeah, that is the Super League of Kenya in 2018. 2018-19, Chitara's first First entrance into the Super League was uh, this same man who promoted the team uh, to the, that is the top attire or the Super League. And then in 2019-20, he also went to Chiboga Young. If you remember in the start times, you got a Premier League by then. Uh, uh, there was a team called Chiboga Young uh, that also he promoted into that. I remember Chiboga Young when we used to uh, travel with uh, Aziz Damani Doves All Stars. Yes, they were a part of the team. Then uh, he came back and promoted Chitara just recently, last year, 2023, to the Super League, which is the Star Times Uganda Premier League. Now again with Lugazi, and already he has left them in that position of uh, uh, the promotion. So his experience with uh, the, 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 the second tower of Ugandan uh, football has shown him a lot, a lot in there uh, to see that he has understood the big league for quite a long time for several years now he knows what tactics to use to make sure that this gets to uh, the, the, the right position makumbi leaving to me is going to be a very big factor into the lugazi team uh, because uh, you can't just look at where they are they are 37 points kataka is behind them with 37 points though they win kataka with goal difference police is the one with 43 points uh, leading the table that shows you that this team like lugazi needs really a lot a lot of uh, uh, time to uh, to concentrate right now because uh, what about the coach uh, their next game i think will be uh, a home game but after there they will be traveling away of course the journey will come to Greenlight stadium what will it mean for them those are some of the things in there and there in that position any point you lose you're going away. Talk about teams like Ataka, uh, they are pressing. Uh, talk about teams like Chiinda, they are pressing. Mbale teams like Mbale um, Heroes are pressing. Teams like uh, Chi, uh, Blacks Power, the Blacks Power are pressing. Ondu Paraka is following. Exactly. Uh, you have a lot that is Pressure, following because yeah. the gap difference is very, very small. Uh, if you look at what exactly right now is uh, that um, it is either two or three or four. That's from numbers eight to number uh, three uh, or even to number two. You would see that any team, any win will mean a lot for such a team. So that's what exactly is coming through right there. So this timing for me of parting ways means a lot into that is football in Korea. Uh, that's why very many times clubs do not want to fire at certain critical time. They will give you time to either win it or spoil it by yourself, then you get it done at uh, the end of the season and they appoint a new coach. But then... It's just like you started driving all the way from Arua and uh, because you don't have a driving permit, you stop at, uh, let's say, Luero, then give <laughs> to an amateur or a broker to finish up for you this, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the remaining uh, because of traffic. Eh? And then uh, you, 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 you get yourself either in a mess or you are, uh, your car is being thrown just because you don't have that. But this is a, someone who is qualified. He has the, the, he has the record, the CV is clean, that he can take a team there. 
I'm yet trying to. That's that, that's. I'm that's, failing to understand. That's exactly. That's why I was saying that uh, the two teams have puzzled me. There is Malahires and Lugazi because basically the history has been that coaches are being chased because of poor performance. Mm. But these two guys have okay for you. Are we can understand? But Lugazi and Malahires really, these two teams are doing well. Uh, check at uh, their positions of the table standings. They are quite very perfect and uh, they are doing okay. So it literally understand that there is something deeper that is eating up in the camp that has led to uh, the firing or uh, the mutual uh, contract ending over these uh, two coaches. But to me, I think there is something deep that we are all not understanding because these two people are performing based on their previous stats and all that they're basically doing, okay, which is very evident. Uh, you would you, really, really a very hard one. I still want to get back to uh, someone was asking me about uh, Calvary Football Club what exactly it means for them because I think their next game uh, they still have games like uh, uh, Ginger North that is also coming to uh, their home ground uh, you would see that it's a so challenging for games that are coming in there let's look at some of the games that probably you could be seeing coming uh, uh, for different clubs in the FUFA big league before of course we get in there now uh, there, there, there are top notch goal games that one would always want to see because of uh, a few areas in there uh, teams like uh, Lugazi still have Chiinda boys to play and you saw uh, how good Chiinda was but of course Lugazi will be at home you would give them a credit and then on Luparaka will be traveling to Karo Karunji in Ibanda as Boma will be welcoming Black's power Police takes on Mbale Heroes. This is a tough one. Uh, probably teams like Police um, Mbale Heroes, that's a, a tough game. You have Boma taking on Black's Power. Boma is at home. I don't think they will want to lose to uh, that is Black's Power. And then you have a Ginger North taking on Kataka at Ginger North is home. And then you have Young Elephants taking on Chigeze. Homeboys uh, as uh, Karo Karunji welcomes on Dupaka. Tough games uh, that you could be talking about. Uh, but all in all, um, if you look at the positioning, uh, let's talk about the table standing, uh, which I need to get here and see how that means for uh, such teams. Uh, if you look at the table standings currently, after teams have played uh, a couple of games, you would say this time round, I believe from number eight, uh, seven, eight to that, any team is able to qualify depending on the consistency level of performance. And that is one big thing that you're seeing because any team here could drop a point. And you dropping a point uh, means that the teams that are also fighting hard are pushing in. Teams like Chiinda, teams like Kataka, teams like uh, Unduparaka, teams like uh, 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 Black's Power. It is really showing a very... And Black's Power's issue also started when they sent off their coach and uh, brought in the coach... Uh, who was also uh, said to be a home soil boy, the one who won with the with, 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 uh, with the Lango, uh, Bob. He's the man who took on the mantle. Things still are not working well. I, sh I should say, Saba should be now knowing that there's something he maybe uh, he did uh, <laughs> calculate right. well. Exactly. Uh, because this, by now, maybe Black Spar would be at number two or number three. Exactly. So that is where the challenge with big league is but it's an intense game and a couple of games are coming during uh, uh, that is the week and uh, we will be expecting we'll be expecting uh, to give you all uh, the lights up now today uganda premier league also returns with a couple of games uh, on card uh, one of them is the relegation derby between updf and uh, gaddafi and then there's that game between also wachiso giants at kabaka chiavagu and uh, uh, ura Joshua Lubuama is the man who, of course, has uh, taken mantle over the team right now. And he said he wants to praise, he wants to applaud and praise David Obua uh, for improving the players of URA who are going to be hosting NEC in that is, uh, uh, game. And this, there's that very big game uh, that is going to be uh, today as, uh, of course, uh, the team of uh, uh, URA hosts NEC. Now, a tough game at Chiabagu. And uh, probably you would love to see how the team will perform after the, t uh, the, the, the former head coach, David Obua, has left. What are you anticipating? Neck is on form and they are pushing harder. They are already uh, into the Uganda Premier League, I mean the Uganda uh, Cup semi-finals. Uh, they had a very tremendous performance. Uh, and then uh, coming into the FUFA, uh, uh, the FUFA uh, League, that is uh, the Uganda Premier League, uh, they are doing very well. And uh, their position is also not all that bad if uh, compared to uh, URA. 
what are we seeing? Because the, 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 the midfielder, Luam, already confirmed, saying that his team, he wants to first applaud the team uh, for job well done in the press conference. Then he wants to also thank his former coach for that. Now, URA, what do we expect? Any change? Um, uh, URA sits in position number eight and next sits in position number five. It's going to be a very tough one for both teams because uh, they badly all need these wins. Uh, URA basically will be wanting to play out their hearts to prove to the world that their issue has been the coach. But uh, I'm waiting to also judge URA after today's game, just like how I judged Lear when they thought their issues were with the coach, but then after sucking the coach, they are pleased to continue and all that. So um, uh, basically, URA, I know they're going to play so, so hard to see to it that uh, they win this game and trust me after this game um, uh, they're going to be uh, uh, they're going to be dragging in the name of the former coach that they sacked uh, who has uh, who they think has literally been their problem and all that uh, but uh, neck uh, some and some are also lost uh, but they lost balance we neck was literally uh, doing okay and uh, at some point I think they even came to position number two or position number three somewhere somehow and now they have pushed down to position number five meaning something has also not been been right somewhere. We've seen Neck losing in consequently around two games. One even I think was home and all that. Not until they just won in their last uh, either also two games or one game and plus the second one being uh, against the police in the Uganda Cup where they beat them two goals to zero. Um, uh, but if you see uh, this game today, trust me, it's going to be a very huge one. It's going to be a very tough one. Neck needs this point. They feel uh, they are in the title race. Uh, uh, URA basically, uh, we all know how badly they also need this win because one, they want to prove the world wrong that uh, the issues have been on David Obua. Secondly, they will also want to, of course, uh, get out of that position where they sit on, on the table standing. So basically, it's going to be a very tense one. Their new head coach is called uh, Robert Mukasa, who of course is going to be expecting a win for them, uh, probably, uh, and uh, they will be expecting to have a lot of changed, uh, changes. Uh, probably after David Obua living in uh, right there. Names like Ivan uh, Hinsimwe uh, could be coming into the game. Uh, names like uh, Nicholas Kabonge, Hudu uh, Muchiri, and not forgetting, of course, Najim Fazil, who have been uh, into the team, of course, will be expected to play because they are, every coach has a style of play. So when you don't fit in their style of play, you won't be able uh, to make sure that you, you, you play under such a coach. That has happened several times. Uh, but at the same time, if you look at Nick, yes, they are line number fifth but the point difference is not much only four point difference with number one and that shows you that if they win today it will take them to only one point uh, shy and uh, chitara who are table toppers so it, 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 it they will become joint also uh, of course uh, joint in the position too uh, so it, it it gives you that vibe and zeal that uh, yeah our uh, neck ne uh, really needs this more than uh, the team of uh, URA but URA also needs it because they need to improve on where they are lying. Eighth is not where they should be, maybe. And uh, that's what will be there. So I'm expecting a tough game at Kabaka Chiabagu. Uh, that's where URA is hosting their games. Remember, uh, they have not had a, a, a pitch that you should say it's theirs. Uh, so that's where they are. The other time they were in Deje, in, 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 uh, this time now they're at Kabaka Chiabagu. And the last time they said they wanted a game on a tough and everything still went well uh, after hiring. So both teams, remember, lost their respective fixtures at Kabaka Chiabagu Stadium this season. 1-0 uh, uh, to that is uh, the home side. I'm talking about Wachiso Giants. Uh, that's the home of Wachiso Giants where they are. So the ground has not been a favorable ground for them. All of them will be looking at you like they are in a neutral ground, including even the home team that is URA. Uh, so it's going to be so challenging for them uh, to see that they really have to uh, adopt and see something works out. But there's still that battle between Gaddafi and UPDF that will be locking horns uh, in the relegation six-pointer that is right there. And today UPDF could be, of course, jumping away from uh, that is uh, the relegation if they win this. Uh, they could be at least out of the relegation zone for the first time in the long time when, of course, they host uh, the fellow strugglers. I'm talking about uh, Gaddafi at Bombo Military Barracks. Now, that's the game to also look into. Tough it is going to be, decisive it is, and it's going to have a, a lot of tension probably. And uh, I'm expecting good officiation this time around uh, to come in this because it's uh, a game of high temper. What do you think about this today? 
Um, uh, this literally is going to be a very huge win. Um, uh, of course, uh, both teams, I would say, are not doing quite so well. If you look at uh, their positions, so the table standings over, mm -hmm. uh, standings in the Premier League, uh, you'd basically uh, get to understand that uh, they're both struggling. Gaddafi is struggling, the, the struggling. The opponent. So this, first of all, is going to be a very test up game. Uh, like you had said, uh, we pray that uh, the officiation is quite uh, so good uh, so that it doesn't add on the already test uh, environment that is there. Um, uh, most times we've seen uh, officiation bringing in or <laughs> uh, disorganizing the, or uh, bringing in a lot of uh, 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 percentages onto there is a, a game that is already a very tense up. But uh, these two teams, uh, I would say they're struggling. Uh, there is a, I, I am doing this based on the table standings. Yes, they're struggling and uh, they will all want this, uh, this three points. So basically it's going to be very tough. I am anticipating a draw in here because no team would leave literally wish to uh, just hand over the three points to the opponents unless otherwise after the 90 minutes but uh, I know Gaddafi have been having a, a trail of uh, not winning in their games and even uh, 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 the opponents so basically this this whole thing is, is it's going to be very uh, a very hard game and uh, to me I am really seeing that uh, the both sides are sharing in the spoils at the end of uh, 90 minutes in there of course, a tight game it will be, but uh, we're expecting a f so challenging, uh, of course, encounter in uh, that is the home, and it is going to be the individual brilliancy, uh, talking about the technicality of a t uh, coach uh, to, 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 to win this game for a club or for his club. Uh, and then, uh, of course, for the individual brilliance, uh, certain figures or certain players have to show that this is what they need to do uh, to make sure that things go rightly in there. Now, good news comes from, uh, that is on Ruparaka uh, Football Club, where they welcome back their head coach, of course, Samson Sizo Kuti. He's back and fully training uh, with the team at the same time training with the players because he's a coach player. Uh, he's the joint top scorer of Onduparaka Football Club with eight goals. Uh, behind him is Abida uh, Ezra with, of course, six goals. Uh, Jari uh, getting to two goals, but, of course, the most uh, assist uh, by him with five assists and three for Samson Sizo Kuti. Uh, look at all that is adding in something. So, uh, this are uh, some of the players who are back, uh, including Samson Sizo Kuti, the head coach. Uh, you have a Bonga who is back in full training, uh, who has been missing into the team. Then you also do have uh, Mayanja Davis, who has been out for quite a long time. He's back in injury uh, from injury, and he's uh, already doing his uh, uh, trainings and um, back for full fitness training. Um, uh, yes, at least you see that some names uh, that have been missing are getting back, but the spirit and effort of the team looks to be increasing every day and now. As I talk, Onduparaka is four points. Two, number two. A very good one. Uh, four points to number two. And basically, uh, just like we had uh, talked earlier on, uh, by using your own words from position number eight, in uh, there is uh, the Bed Power Big League up to up. Uh, trust me, it's very tense. You'd find that uh, the gap, the point gap is th uh, two, one, three, and, and, and four, and, and, and the rest. So basically, um, uh, with the return of every other person that has been missing, in the club, uh, there is on Duparaka Football Club. Trust me, it's a very good one. It's a plus for the team. Uh, because basically, all the names that you have mentioned, trust me, these have been very key people in the club. These have been very prominent people that have a lot of positives uh, if they are in the club. And uh, on Duparaka, I've also loved them over the time where uh, you find uh, they don't miss in uh, the services of someone who is off. Even if this person has been very key, even if this person's um, uh, even if this person's uh, contribution have been key to the whole squad, you literally get to see that if they are not around, the team moves on, the team plays so well, you don't even realize that so-and-so is missing and all that. So basically, uh, it's a very good add-on uh, to the team uh, ahead of uh, their travel to Ibanda, a very far place. And of course, uh, we all know how hard it is to get a point away, even one. So basically, with all these add-ons that are coming to the team uh, from uh, the previous games that have not been there, if now with the absence of these other people that have come back, the team has been winning, even away the one at, at, at Anaka Black's uh, uh, Young Elephants. 
what would happen now that everyone is around. So basically, I think it's a very good one, and uh, this is a positive for the team on Duparaka. It's a very tough one, uh, probably, to say, and, of course, a very, very big one uh, to talk about uh, with, of course, how uh, teams are pushing in hard and harder right there. But we take a break. When we come back, we shall be coming back with uh, some of the national stories uh, that we have uh, right here on our card uh, before we cross to the international stories because there's UEFA Champions League also on card. Uh, there's uh, also that big uh, talking points about the transfers. There's that talking point about uh, that star player who, to me, deserves to be the best player of the season as young as he is, 20 years of age. He has 20 goals. Uh, he is uh, a record maker right now. I'm talking about uh, Palmer, who, of course, has been so phenomenal for Chelsea Football Club. And after Chelsea thrashing yesterday, six goals uh, Everton Football Club, and uh, that's one of the biggest things that we shall be coming to talk about. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. West Nile TV, lighting up the region. West Nile TV, lighting up the region. From that break, at still West Nile Television with Whistle Time team right here. Uh, Susie, Linda, I, myself, Owen Zaga, we say we're giving you all that uh, you need to know courtesy of uh, that is uh, the sports right here. Now, of course, a lot in the world of soccer still uh, with, of course, Vipers who have petitioned Federation uh, for that is uh, a controversial or, uh, of course, for all poor officiation right there. They say it was biased and poorly officiated uh, right there. Again, that was live on TV. Uh, also,
also uh, is uh, one thing. In their uh, uh, statement, they said, we address your officer and seek intervention in this matter that our concern has been drawn to the above stated fixture played at Masindi Stadium on 14th, 4th, uh, 14th April uh, at 3 p.m. And uh, the same was live on TV state, uh, statement, partly uh, read like that. Now, of course, they are again in, in said, uh, we wish to draw your attention, uh, particularly in uh, incidences of bad, uh, or bad stroke bias, uh, <laughs> referring uh, out over the many that uh, transpired under uh, officiation of uh, the March Day Center referee Ali Sabilia uh, Chelingat, as uh, of course stated below. One in the 66th minute. Uh, uh, Chitala was uh, awarded a controversial penalty kick uh, that was never uh, valid as a purported uh, fouled player, uh, Jude Semgari, uh, carried out, of course, simulation, according to uh, the report. And then again, in the, nine, in the 87th minute, a Vipers player uh, was fouled in the penalty area of uh, Chitara FC right in front of the referee and as a result such no penalty I uh, was awarded to Viper Sports Club even when it should have been like the case. Uh, in the later uh, that they sent uh, of course to FUFA, Vipers attached videos over that is the selected incidences uh, to see. They have the evidences and there as of course the club awaits for the FUFA ruling and Vipers will uh, renew its revival with the Chitara on Friday uh, which is uh, coming right there because they are going to have another game i uh, just we talked about yesterday and that is the highly anticipated uganda premier league encounter yes well what what shall come out um i really want uh, to see how this judgment is going to be uh, because uh, initially there are a lot of teams that have also been complaining mm. against vipers at uh, saint mary's chitende the same chitara in the first uh, leg of uh, upl i remember they also felt they were cheated on uh, one of their goals that was not at an offside was ruled offside uh, in uh, that 2-1 win that uh, vipers had over them but i think uh, vipers complained and complained and complained it just went down the drains like that um, uh, there's also been a lot of uh, complaints or a lot of uh, poor officiation that people think uh, Vipers has been doing against other teams, but nothing is done. I really want to talk about this after the verdict is passed, and uh, I, 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 will, I will do my judgment based on what FUFA is going to say. And uh, I really don't know if uh, that penalty was awarded to them in the 80th minute, as they claim, if they would still come up and say it was poor officiation, or if they had won, or if they had beaten Chitara, I really don't know if they would come through and still complain. It's always the other side that loses that comes through to complain. I don't know if they win, uh, whether they would still complain. So basically, Basically, me bringing in my judgment, I want to do it after a hearing in uh, the final statement. If you say that, then it takes me straight away to you. That is the uh, world of athletics where, of course, uh, Chip Limo uh, has also won the Sports uh, Personality of the Month award after, of course, uh, matches uh, hero, uh, heroes. And that, of course, came through and uh, the words had a very good one. And... Uh, uh, he earned uh, 265 votes of, of that, of course, came through. Did he deserve that? Because he had a couple of things that he did during uh, that is March. Um, uh, I think uh, it's quite a very good one, a monthly award uh, for a match that has uh, gone to uh, Kiplimo. And we've seen him, of course, uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, 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 tremendous work, raising the flags of Uganda uh, so, so high and all that. And uh, he was victorious uh, during this uh, in uh, United Airlines New York City half marathon. We've seen him, of course, uh, winning a lot of uh, medals, even in the All African Games and all that. So basically, to me, I think uh, he just did well it the award went to the right place senior man's world country uh, of course cross country champions uh, uh, ship uh, 10 kilometers he was uh, the champion of course you did see that race a tight one that was in belgrade uh, in of course sabia in march he had that he played also uh, clinched uh, gold if you remember recently uh, that was uh, one of the biggest one that he clinched uh, uh, when he won last uh, year in that is uh, uh, of course a booth, uh, boothast uh, in Australia, he had a very, very good uh, move. He beat also uh, very many names, key, uh, key, key athletes like uh, uh, Berihu, uh, of course, uh, Aregai of uh, Ethiopia, and then also uh, the, the Kenyan's man, uh, Benson, uh, Benson, of course, uh, Kiplangat, he, who, of course, he also won. So uh, for me, I think 
it is he deserved that yeah uh, because he has really shown uh, to the world that he can still do that and uh, he is still proving. Uh, though recently we saw the sadness that came through, uh, but I believe it's going to be uh, fine. Now, elsewhere in the netball world, still about uh, our lady, Mary Numba. She's still shining again and again. And this time around, she cites 70 goals ahead of that is uh, her nearest rival. That is Sigrid uh, Baga of uh, Steven Stars, uh, who managed uh, 36 against uh, that is... Uh, of course, a low bong lightning over Peace Proskovia. Now, this is so challenging that in tight, yeah, I mean, in, in this competition, but of course, she's doing well so far. Uh, this time around, she couldn't really push things her way. Um, uh, she, of course, uh, has been uh, quite very good. And like I said, uh, initially, uh, it used to be a uh, Peace Proskovia that is uh, the captain over the, uh, the, the Crested Cranes of uh, uh, national team, netball team of Uganda. But then, uh, I think uh, Mary Nuba just uh, rose up like a mushroom and uh, outmatched every other player, every other netball player that we've been uh, hearing about or every other netball player that we all know, uh, simply because uh, I think um, uh, by the time you're rising to fame, it all goes down to hard work. She has been very hard working and uh, that's why she has been able to sign out of Uganda to play. And uh, where she has been, she has literally been representing very well. I remember on three occasions mm. uh, where her side has beaten uh, the opponents uh, 70 plus games. Mm. She scores uh, all the, the, the rest of the goals that the other people have been able to net. Uh, there are two occasions where she scored 50-50 over uh, the opponents and then there is one where she scored 40 over the opponents. So basically, this is quite a very good one, and uh, it, it, all car uh, it all narrows down to hard work. In the USA games, Uganda schools are football are powerhouse this time round, are yet to be merged champions after, of course, beating Budo uh, to win the Wachiso Giant School Championship. In uh, That is a very big way. They played 10 games and, of course, won all those games. Uh, uh, that is uh, St. Mary's uh, Chitende. They call themselves the Smacks. Uh, this time round, they have done it yet again. They are the champions. So, nationals. Teams expect St. Mary's to turn them back in action. So that's one big one. Now, elsewhere in the world, Palma nets four as Chelsea put six past that is Everton in a game that, of course, you needed to watch if you didn't watch. But all in all, the young boy now is a joint top scorer of the English Premier League. Of course, 10, 20 goals, just like Manchester City's Erling Braut Haaland right there. He is on form he is the player for me to be named as the player of the season this year Chelsea is not doing well but he has carried the team uh, teams burden by scoring goals um, I think uh, yesterday it was uh, it was uh, only uh, the, the two people to watch, uh, there was Palmer and uh, Alfie uh, Gitrist, uh, that of course uh, took uh, Pochettino's side uh, to see to it that uh, they took uh, <laughs> the Everton, uh, the opponents into class. And uh, uh, with uh, the current form that Chelsea has, I think uh, uh, Pochettino really needs to do a lot. If he can carry on with uh, these results, it's not too early that he can actually, um, uh, he can actually uh, 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 improve on uh, his uh, positions. But then yesterday, yes, uh, there was that uh, for the young man um, uh, who literally scored in almost all the goals <laughs> Chelsea registered in uh, yesterday. It's quite a very good one, and this is an eye-opener, by the way. Uh, trust me, um, uh, don't be surprised if he only finishes this season at Chelsea. Uh, with, uh, if he continues with this level of performance, there are a lot of teams or there are a lot of clubs that will, become, that will come chasing after him in the summer. Of course, a lot that he did. A young player, he has done. I remember when he was at Man City, he was a key player also for that is uh, uh, Pep Guardiola. He used to bring him in and he does wonders. Uh, but of course, Chelsea had to buy him and he's doing well for Chelsea. I love uh, the, 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 the energy. I love the quality of a player that is showcasing uh, the team. Of course, displaying very good football. Uh, trying to see that the team gets to the best every time and now. Chelsea is not sitting on well, but they are pushing. Now, Manchester United has to watch out because Chelsea is also picking on well. I said, when the season was starting, I talked about uh, Tottenham Hotspurs, that I would maybe see them not even finish in the Europa slot that you could be seeing or finish in the top four because people wanted them in the top four. And I think the best I'd given to Tottenham was uh, a Europa slot, which indeed, for me, I see still it will happen because Aston Villa is also doing well. Back to their form. Uh, so a tough one in there. But of course, outstanding performance from that is uh, Palma yesterday. Outstanding performance from Madueke. 
And then, of course, uh, uh, for the first time also, I should praise uh, uh, Jackson, uh, who rarely scores goals for Chelsea. <laughs> but this time around, he made his name on the score sheet yesterday right there. Champions League returns uh, with, of course, uh, Arsenal's game. That will be on Wednesday. But um, just uh, to remind you that uh, there's a good news uh, because they will be receiving uh, good news of uh, two at least boosting uh, boosting that team with two injury concerns. I uh, remember there was uh, uh, Abukayo Saka, who of course was the name uh, to talk about, but this time around, uh, Gabriel Jesus, Trossard were also on the score sheet. But you can see Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, who were involved in uh, injury uh, right now, have been involved in training. So we may be seeing them back into the team. Shall we see changes in order for the second leg? Um, uh, it's going to be quite a very tough one, of course. Um, uh, I think uh, Arsenal, yeah, they have um, uh, literally, uh, they have all the, 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 they have all it takes, all the good players uh, that it takes to actually win in this very game. But then, it's also going to be a little hard for them based on uh, the previous game that they had. Uh, and Arsenal, uh, to me, by the way, is, 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 is becoming slippery. You would expect Arsenal to win, but then uh, something happens. They don't win and all that. So we shall talk about Arsenal tomorrow. Today is uh, a game for PSG and Barcelona. Now, Barcelona uh, will be facing or welcoming, uh, that is, uh, PSG at Camp Nou, ahead of the second uh, leg encounter. And this is going to be one of the biggest ones. That means Barcelona will be aiming to win this and uh, to advance to the semi-finals uh, for the first time since 2018-19 Champions League season right there. So that means they will be doing everything possible and they have an advantage over one goal ahead because it was 3-2 on aggregates against PSG. What are you anticipating? What are you expecting in this game today? Um, a very tough one, uh, Barcelona up against uh, uh, Paris and Germain in there. It's, 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 it's quite very uh, unpredictable, by the way, uh, because if you look at uh, the current uh, Barcelona, you'll really get to uh, realize that uh, they are being beaten, and uh, Paris and Germain has been uh, quite a little bit of a headache to uh, there is a team Barcelona, so I really don't know if uh, today they will go past them, but literally, uh, in the few previous stats, we've seen uh, PSG giving in a uh, running nose uh, to there is a team Barcelona. In the news, they are Barcelona remain without that is their player Gavi who will not be there and Alejandro Balde will not be there due to that is the long term injuries but of course Yao Cancelo, uh, Martinez, uh, Lewandowski who of course uh, were all uh, suspended against the Cadiz in the league will be right there to see. Pedri has uh, featured uh, uh, off the bench but of course he will be making also sure that he gets into uh, that is uh, the play while of course you will be seeing Osman Dembele will once again line up probably against the team. Uh, Shraf Hakimi was suspended for the first leg but he will be back probably in the team for that is the team. Um, uh, Kimbembe Kazawa and Sergio Rico remain still outside line. They may not be into the game uh, today for that is the team of, uh, of, uh, of course, PSG. Uh, Thomas Tuchel has confirmed the two double, uh, of course, uh, Bayern Munich injury uh, uh, for the second leg against uh, Arsenal that is coming, of course. We shall be talking about those players tomorrow and see what exactly that will be. Because Sergio Ginabri, who scored against them, was one name that you could talk about. And uh, also the defender, who, of course, was missing, that is Davis, is also another name. Maybe, for now, let's have your parting words. We shall get to uh, more of the stories tomorrow uh, because we have a lot of time for also tomorrow's uh, sports. Um, uh, 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 on uh, Barcelona and uh, PSG, we also have Atletico Madrid. Uh, that, of course, will be playing a uh, Borussia Dortmund. And from uh, the social media handles, I would like to say a big ups to There is a Bio Sunday who says he's following, and then one of our biggest added fans, uh, There is a Baguma Caesar Dennis. Thank you always uh, for following wherever you're catching us from. Then there is one DML uh, Dennis who says a transport road 